in a speech he made in the lead up to the 65th anniversary of the Lao People's Army in 2014 last year, General Si Savat Gaewun Pan said the relationship between the Lao people and the army has been likened to the relationship between fish and water. The two go together and life for one would be much more difficult without the other. The Lao People's Army has made great contributions to protecting, building and developing the country and has built a strong relationship with the people, hence the comparison to the fish and water. There's always been a strong tie of friendship between the Lao people and the army and have always helped when one needed assistance from the other. General Sisavat recalled the history of the relationship in his speech. He said if people had not supported the army, it would have been very difficult for it to fight off colonial occupier and liberate the country. Soldiers received great support from the people during the conflict. The people provided soldiers with food, clothes, and daily necessities, and in return, the soldiers responded to the needs of the people whenever they could. In the past, soldiers have helped locals with their work in rice fields, growing and harvesting crops. Soldiers have continued this tradition into the present and do not refuse to help people when they can. <laughs> The army belongs to the people because its soldiers come from the people and they serve in the national interest. It gains the people's support through the Lao People's Revolutionary Party. The army developed from what was once local armed forces. This meant it was comprised of strong-willed people who were determined to fight to free Lao citizens from domination by foreign aggressors. They saw independence, power, and sovereignty for Laos to serve the country's best interests. In the past years, the army has continually grown stronger because of the devotion and support of the people who were happy to give their physical and mental strength to the army during the struggle for liberation. Officials and soldiers acknowledged the virtue of Lao people from a variety of ethnic groups who also made sacrifices to assist the revolution. According to General C. Savat, our country was overrun with colonial aggressors and we could not have fought successfully for our country's rightful freedom without support from our people, who helped us by giving us food and other possessions. People also helped to hide soldiers in their own homes and villages when enemies came looking for them. Without this cooperation and support, our task would have been even more difficult. Soldiers continue to play an essential role in society even after the revolution was achieved. The army is always ready to assist people in the event of a crisis and help them restore their lives and property. General Sisavat also said Lao people and all ethnic groups felt solidarity with the army and considered the relationship to be essential to Laos' success. After the country was established in December 2, 1975, the relationship between people and army remained the same. When Army Day arrives every year, people consistently show their support. People still give rice and daily necessities to soldiers as they used to a long time ago. The Lao people and the army have worked to preserve the traditionally strong relationship, which they have had since the army was born almost 65 years ago.
พวกเขาก็พร้อมเพียงกันสร้างประเทศชาติบ้านเมืองให้เจริญหงเหือง